What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be popping on some custom copper scales. Uh, these are made by Daily Customs and sold over in Germany uh, on the website Tools for Gents. All right, these are really, really cool looking. Very excited about these. Um, and I'm going to be putting them on a Field Master, all right, which already has some cool scales. This is, of course, the Wounded Warrior Project version of the Field Master. Happened to get this at a screaming deal um, at Gander Outdoors. So it was one of their online deals, all right? So pick this up a little bit cheaper than they normally sell for. But I'm really interested in popping these on there, all right? So that's what this video is. And eventually, I'm going to be talking about the scales after I use them for a little while. Now, I actually have a video on how to remove Victorinox scales because you can swap them if you want different colors or customize it, whatever. Um, but it's a really, really old video. So that's why I'm making this one kind of an update. I'm not sure how these are going to fit on here if they're going to be like um, a snug press fit where I can kind of test it out without gluing them. If they're kind of loose on there, I'm going to have to, uh, you know, use some kind of epoxy or JB Weld or something to permanently affix them uh, because I'm going to be saving these scales and I definitely want these on this tool permanently. All right, so either way, we're gonna check it out right now. So first thing you wanna do is remove, of course, a toothpick and tweezers. I said that backwards, <laughs> but there's the toothpick. There's the tweezers, all right. And we're gonna stick in a smaller tool and we're gonna slowly kind of pry these scales off. All right, carefully. There we go. So I just popped off one of the rivets. So kind of pressure fit on there. All right, just kind of work them off. All right, so there's one side. I bent my little screwdriver, that's okay, I have spare ones. All right, so same thing with the other side. I'm kind of, I'm pushing it in there to get a little bit of leverage. The further you can get a tool, the better. All right, so you have less of a chance of actually damaging the scales. I'm using this to just kind of pry it up. There we go. Once you pop one side, then it's easy. Then you just want to slowly Add some pressure, and you should lift right off. All right, so I have a set of scales I can save for another model in the future. Then we have our bare knife. So you can see how these work. These three holes obviously line up with these three pins that go through the tool. All right, so let's take a look at these scales. First, you can see Card here, Daily Customs, 100% made in Hamburg, Germany. All right, you can see this is 91.2% uh, copper, pure copper. So again, these came in a package today that I got from Tools for Gents in Germany. Huge, huge thank you. Uh, you guys are gonna see some other stuff from them in the future, and I'm pretty excited about a lot of the gear. So, let's take a look at these scales. In a separate bag so they're not scratching each other in transit. All right. So this has kind of a, a matte texture. All right. Copper. You see the channel cut out here for the tools. So it says Daily Customs on the inside, made in Germany. Again, these are the solid copper ones. They have titanium, they have brass, they actually have like Damascus. I mean, it just depends on how much you're looking to spend. What's really cool, if you notice, there's three screws on the one side here, so you can add a pocket clip if you want. All right, very standard, you know, screw position here. So I may or may not tinker around with the idea of a pocket clip in the future. All right, so let's do this side first. You can see, obviously, on this Fieldmaster model, there's a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, so obviously you need a cutout. You see the cutout in this scale, so this lines up with this one. Again, you can see the holes that correspond with those pins. All right, so we're going to line that up. Gonna press down just to see. Again, this one might have to. Oh, there we go. It kind of snapped on. All right, that's good news. So I was wondering if that was just gonna be loose or not. Doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off anytime soon. So here's the other side. It's gonna go just like this. And that one also kind of snapped on. Not as much as the other side, but it does press fit on. I might take these back off and like I said, just put a little dot of epoxy just to make sure that, you know, while carrying these and using them, they're not gonna accidentally fall off or anything. But, you know, how they feel right now, it doesn't feel like they're gonna accidentally fall off 
it would have to be pretty purposeful to get these off. All right, now something to note here, if you notice the toothpick and the tweezers, I put these back in here. All right, they're not a perfect fit to these scales as, they, as opposed to what they originally were. Now the toothpick and the tweezers have a curvature in them. All right, so you're gonna see really quickly which spot is which because again, it has a little bit of curvature on the end. So if you swap them, it's gonna look a little bit you know, more odd. So this is the position that these are supposed to be in. Like I said, they're not completely even like they would be with the original scales. But um, you know, once I actually put a little bit of epoxy in these, make sure they're flat against this tool, that may or may not change anything. Um, but if you notice, there's a third spot and that is for the ballpoint pen. Depending on what model you have for this size, you can also add the ballpoint pen. Because I had the field master, I did not have the pen, I might actually seek out an additional pen. Maybe I can find parts on eBay or something, or even just buy a model that has the pen, you know, just so I can use it for parts. And I can actually add a pen now to this tool. So I'll have the toothpick, the tweezers, and the little Victorinox ballpoint pen. So that's a pretty cool option as well. So yeah, just wanted to pop these on real quick uh, for the video, just to give you guys a quick look at it, it's first impressions. I like it. Um, it def definitely adds a little bit of heft, having solid copper scales, as opposed to these you know, little plastic scales that weigh basically nothing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the look of it. Obviously with time, uh, the copper should actually color, oxidize a little bit, uh, get that nice patina that everyone loves. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So first impressions are good. And like I said, I will probably experiment with some different pocket clips and may or may not add, actually add one to this because I kind of want to carry this, you know, loose in the pocket or possibly in one of the pocket organizers. Not really sure yet if I want to clip it to the pocket, but because those screws are there, I'll probably do that. So my initial impressions are really good. Totally changes the way this knife feels and looks. Kind of cool to have something a little customized. Um, these particular ones sell for, I think, 63 euro which uh, converts to roughly 69 or $70 US. All right, so uh, if you guys are interested, like I said, they have some other options as well. And a huge thank you goes out for Tools for Gents uh, for letting me check these out. And another big thank you goes out to my buddy, Arthur Bream over in Germany. He's the one who told me about this company. Uh, if it weren't for him, I never would even knew they existed. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know down in the comment section, do you EDC a Victorinox knife? I'm curious. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.